I've given it a little thought and the biggest challenge to my style is this. I've been typed classic by you and natural classic by another system. I agree, but I'm not very excited about it. The thing is, in my mind, classic is just a fancy word for plain Jane. I feel a little like a wallflower. How do I put a little more class and pizzazz in my classic without getting too fussy or funky? I also have an eye shape and believe, according to my architecture, I'm a little long chin to breast, thus, as in this, uh, this proportion, um, thus making my top slightly longer than the bottom half. Otherwise proportionate. I have been draped a dark brown summer. Um, I particularly, I partially agree preferring mid-tones to dark. I'm in my 50s. Thank you. So a little few things here. So classic, remember, with my quiz, it's just the core of your type. So there'll be something else that's there and it's figuring out what else that is. Is it I want to add in some femininity? Is it I want to add in a bit of drama? Is it I want to add in a little bit of creativity? Is it that I want to be a bit more relaxed than just um, classic? Uh, is it that I want to add some elegance in there? There's lots of different things we can add in to that classic to stay away from plain Jane or boring. Um, classic you know, traditionally comes from the office. It comes from men's corporate suiting. That is where it it evolved from as far as the style goes. But most of us haven't got that kind of lifestyle and just wearing classic just doesn't work for us. So it's thinking about what are the other things I can layer in and what are the things I really like. So again, I always recommend looking back at your favorite outfits, the ones that you actually feel are successful and notice, oh, have I added in a feminine detail? Or have I? are they more relaxed? Or are they more elegant? What have I added in that's made me feel that this is not just boring and plain Jane, that this is great, but it's an expression of me and it makes me feel confident and all the things I want to feel. Uh, so that's the first thing is always looking back and figuring out what are the other layers. And this is something we delve into. In my Seven Steps to Style program, if you wanna know all the parts of you, not just your core style, this is where we go into this. We go into this in depth and detail so you can actually pull out what are all the different elements. And most people are three or four of the different personality styles. They're not just one or even two, they're three or four. And then what you choose from each of those will be different. I remember once doing style consultations for two women. They were both nurses. They both were classic, relaxed and feminine dominantly. Yet the, what they pulled from each of those styles was completely different. So what they would wear would be completely different. Um, and so, you know, one of them might have liked, you know, symmetry and soft fabrics and neutrals. And the other one uh, liked some, you know, asymmetry and liked uh, lace and liked, uh, you know, softly, you know, pastel clothes. So even though they may still have elements of both of those, you know, all those three dressing styles, what they chose from them was different. And so this is where it's what we get into in Seven Steps of Style because it is so important, but it's really quite, you know, something that's more complex. Uh, and that's something that we don't just ascribe one thing to you. So the personality dressing style quiz that I have, it's fun, it's free, it gives you an understanding of something that you cannot leave out of every outfit. That's all it gives you. It doesn't give you what all the layers are, and there are a lot of layers. So if anybody just tells you, say a natural classic to me says you're relaxed and classic, but I bet you there's more to you than that. I've never met anybody who is just one style or two styles. Everybody is three or four. Um, and so it's getting, but it's getting the what are the bits that you love out of each of those is the most important thing. Uh, and so that's what we do in Seven Steps to Style. So if you are really interested in understanding more about that, I'd love you to have you in the program and we can get to the bottom of what your personality style really is and how you want to express your personality through your clothes. So thank you for your questions and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye for now.